Hi everyone, it's Lisa from A Simple Season. So today I'm tackling another trouble spot in my home and that spot is my refrigerator. So let's clean it all up, get it organized and let's get started. So I'm just gonna open up my fridge and if we look inside, it doesn't look too bad. I mean, I try to stay on top of everything so that um, things stay mostly organized, but I'm gonna show you kind of my Achilles heel in this fridge. It's not a big fridge and my husband and I both love to cook, so sometimes it's a bit of a challenge fitting everything in here, but the Achilles heel is this shelf and this shelf in here. And the reason it is, is just because like if you want to get anything, you have to move like a hundred things to get to stuff. And, and it's easy to lose things at the back. So I think I have an idea that will help me out with this and let's hope it works. So let's clear everything out and start from scratch. So what I found to help me with those two shelves are these, and I think these are gonna work out great. So these are Lazy Susans. So I'm going to put them in my fridge and then they'll just be able to turn and they'll be able to find things a little bit easier without things getting forgotten in the back. So I'm gonna start on the freezer now and there's quite a bit of stuff in here and it's really been bugging me for the past few weeks. I really need to go through everything and organize it all. So let's start on this. So if I pull all of this out, you can see it's way too full, way too overcrowded. So I really just have to go through everything and pull it all out and see what I have and start from scratch. So here's everything pulled out of the freezer and I'll just show you quickly what I have in here because I'm amazed all of this fit in that tiny space but I just need to go through everything and reorganize it all but um, I'll show you some of the stuff that I have in my freezer. So over here I just have all my vegetables put together so I've got peas, these are chives, I have Brussels sprouts frozen in here, this is chopped onion, cauliflower, this is celery and what I do is I just put it in those little zipper sandwich bags and I fill it nice and tight and then I wrap this is just like a, a cereal bag that I emptied the cereal out of washed it out and then I put it in here with an elastic and so that way when I'm ready to make soups or whatever I can just pull out some celery or add it to um, stuffing and then it's ready and then over here this is all pre-cooked meat so here I have chicken, turkey, beef, and so like here I've just write a little note to myself, cook chicken, add to stir fries, tacos, or soup. So this makes meal planning for me really easy because then I can just pull out some chicken, it's already cooked, add it to whatever stir fried vegetables I'm making, or soup, or tacos, whatever it is, and that makes it really, really easy. Then I just have um, some miscellaneous stuff over there. So I've got like some pierogies, yeast, and in this little green container is some leftover soup. And speaking of soup, this right here is a bag that I call my soup bag. So what I do with this is anytime I make like a casserole or um, I don't know, a chicken pot pie or just whatever I have, mashed potatoes, whatever I have left over and we're not eating it, we put it in little freezer bags and I put it in this bag. And then this way, whenever I'm ready to make soup, I can just pull all of this out, add some beef broth or chicken broth, and I've got a really, really yummy soup. Then here I have some pre-cooked spaghetti sauce in there and in there. This is apple pie filling. This is some cheese. This is a homemade pie crust that I made that I put in the freezer. And then over here, this is garlic 
and ginger in olive oil. So ginger is not something I use a lot. So what I do with this, because I'll use it maybe just a few times a year. And so what I do so that it won't go bad is I take the ginger, I cut it up, put it in a little mini food processor with some olive oil, and then I just keep it in a Ziploc container. And then when I want it, I can just scoop out what I want and use it in a recipe. And then I do the same thing with garlic. So I put in, chop up the garlic, put in a bunch of olive oil, run it through the food processor, and then when I want to cook with the garlic, I can just scoop it out. And then over here is all my frozen fruit. So here I have cranberry sauce. I've got kind of some mixed fruit here. Um, blueberries. These were blueberries that we picked um, that were put in the freezer. And these are some berries um, from my mom's house, from her bushes. And then here are my frozen figs. What I'm gonna do now is I think I've got everything put into categories now, so I'm just going to put them into separate bags so I can find what I need easily. So this is how it all looks now, all nice and tidy. So what I did was I put all the vegetables uh, mostly on this side, so I have my peas and onions and celery and everything else that I use. And then over here is just kind of the miscellaneous stuff, so I've got, my, um, I've got some butter and my spaghetti sauce and um, like pie crust, cheese, yeast, all of that stuff here. So that's nice and organized. And then on the bottom, I have, um, this says ham, but it's got like ham, bacon, sausage, that kind of stuff. And then I have beef in here. This is all cooked. And this is my soup bag. I have all my fruit in here. And then this is all cooked chicken that's all ready for stir fries or casseroles or whatever I decide to use it for. Well, we have the fridge all nice and clean and organized. So now that that's all done, I can take you on a little tour and show you what I have in there. And here is the grand reveal now that it's all done. So if I start at the top here, at this first Lazy Susan. Look at how fabulous this is. I am so excited. This is gonna make my life so much easier. So here I just have my yeast. This is some um, seasoned soybean paste that we like to use when we do Asian cooking sometimes. I got a little jar of pesto. These are bait worms that my husband uses. And then here I have some egg whites. Um, and this I usually use when I make meringue, but I think I need to use these up so I might just do an omelet. And then on this Lazy Susan, I have some almond flour, olives in here. This is a mixture of sunflower seeds and pumpkin seeds that I use for when I make muffins or put into salads. I have some pickled beets, some salsa, and some garlic. And then here, of course, we have a Brita filter. We've got milk, cream. There's a little bit of applesauce hiding in the back. And then here I have um, all of my deli meats and cheeses. And what I do with these drawers and also the drawers that I keep my fruits and vegetables in is I just put um, newspaper in at the bottom and that helps absorb some of the moisture in there and just helps keep things a little bit uh, better. And then here I just have a salad mix, some mushrooms and celery eggs. And this is something that's been working out really well for us. So we call this our lunch tub and I did this a few weeks ago. So in here I just have quick things that we can grab to put in our lunch. So I've got some cheese strings, yogurt, almonds, pepperoni sticks, granola bars. And this has been working out really, really well to just put together lunches a lot easier. And then on the door here, um, we've got some salad dressing. Sometimes if we buy like the salad kits and it comes with all those little extras like nuts or raisins or extra dressing, we just put them um, here on the side. So the next time we make salad, we have dressing. 
Here I've got some almonds, some pine nuts for when I make pesto. And then here I just have extra condiments. Like if we ever go out for a hot dog or something and they give us extra condiments, we'll just save them in there and we'll use them next time we have burgers or hot dogs or whatever. I have some more pumpkin seeds there. Um, and I've got uh, mustard. This is Sunday syrup, a couple of San Pellegrino drinks. And then here I have uh, some capers, maraschino cherries. I have some homemade relish back here. These are anchovies, which I use for when I make um, pasta. So I heat up garlic, olive oil, add some anchovies, and it's a beautiful pasta dish. And then this is just an aromatherapy spray that I keep in the fridge in the summertime. So when I get really warm, I just kind of spritz myself with it. And it's a nice little refreshing pick me up. And then here I have, this is just a, um, a Parmesan container. Uh, what I do is I just save this container and then I grate up um, par, uh, Grana Padano cheese or Parmesan or Pecorino Romano cheese and I just put it in that container. Lemon juice, this is uh, polenta. I got a Caesar dressing, mayonnaise, jam, and uh, marmalade. And then down here I have like a lime cordial that we'll mix with some club soda, extra cream. This is a Korean barbecue sauce, which is so good um, with chicken or stir fries. Um, some Ribena, which is really good with club soda ketchup and then milk thanks so much for joining in with me today it felt so good to get that all done let me tell you that lazy susan is just the biggest difference maker for me so i'm really happy with that so take care everyone and we'll see you next time